Hello, Reality. Good morning and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor on this channel. Like we used to do, to pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concerns raised and how to respond accordingly. In so doing, those questions that lingered over the years in our heart and sometimes seem to have defied answers have been tackled. I have the assurance that the Lord has taken care of your burdens in this ministry. You just have to follow us on our social media handles and watch our videos uploaded over 600 of them before you finish you must have discovered how much the lord has dealt with your burdens all right so i urge you to use the comment sessions for your testimonies and also help us share these messages and let them go by the light has no need under the bush and as you do so may the lord bless you in the name of jesus let's pray father we thank you for your mercy and your faithfulness of our lives we thank you because you are changing lives in this ministry we trust that today will not be exceptional or rather do greater than you have been doing in our lives in jesus name we pray amen beloved we are going to be talking about a new topic called apathy now let's look at the introduction in the book of revelation apathy is compared to lukewarm water cold water quenches thirst and refreshes a parched mouth hot water is used for cooking and sanitizing but lukewarm water has little appeal apathy is much the same when apathy settles it means that passion and purpose have gone away those who are apathetic don't care about much apathy is like a disease that feeds on your cares and motivations and wastes your talents and gifts fortunately there is an antidote hard work a thankful heart and act of service toward others can help fight all feelings of apathy and renew your focus on god's purpose for your life and the blessings he has given you praise god so we we'll look at the first question about apathy what causes apathy now you see proverbs chapter 29 verse 7 the bible says the godly cares about the right of the poor the wicked don't care at all now also see ephesians chapter ephesians chapter 4 verse 19 he said they have no sense of shame they live for lustful pleasure praise god so sinful living causes apathy sin turns the spotlight on self and selfishness so concern for others fade away and that is just the truth so also see deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 11 to 12 also said the houses will be richly stocked with goods you did not produce you will draw water from cisterns you did not dig and you will eat from vineyard and olive trees you did not plant when you have eaten your field in this land be careful not to forget the lord who rescued you from slavery in the, in the land of egypt all right so in Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 28 verse said but as soon as they were all they were at peace your people again committed evil in your sight amen so success can lead to apathy preoccupation with immaterial things eventually leads to apathy because earthly things have no lasting value i want us to meditate on these things as we meet next time we'll be talking about a new question what are some warnings signs of apathy so but let us brood over this ones and we are not born again quickly confess christ right now say lord jesus I surrender my life to you this morning. Please come in and reign. Have your way in my life. Breathe upon me the breath of life. I want to live and reign with you in eternity. Write my name in the book of life, deleted from the book of death. Thank you for saving my soul. Thank you, I am born again in Jesus' name we pray, amen. If you have prayed this prayer this morning, this morning, um, congratulations, as I urge you to continue to fellowship with us you can never get it wrong bring it right with us the lord has prepared all these messages to equip you and i know you will soon arrive at your destination in jesus name we pray have a, a breakthrough week ahead of you have a fruitful week ahead of you have a great day god bless you amen